hello guys this is prince jia kenya back with another video and today it concerns me and i have come here to remember you that you are born for a reason and a season you are born to serve your god in your season you are born to be kind in your season you are born to serve the humanity in your season you know it is a very concern it is a very sad thing for many people doesn't remember or for many people who thinks that they got to have all the times here on earth they got to have all the times here on earth to do whatever they think they can do to do whatever they think that pleases them to do whatever things that they think pleases they are fresh but they forget one thing that we are here in this world for a reason and a season might be your season might be sooner might be your season might be nearer or might be later but the thing and the sure thing is you are born for a season and a reason and your season each and every day each and every night each and every morning you are approaching to the end of your season you are approaching to the end of your season that's why i have decided today to come and remember you that you are born for a reason and a season not that as you are aging up as this are going on as years are changing in the corridor that you are approaching your day to leave this world but my big question and my big concern is what will you have done to your God before you leave this world? What will you have done to, to the humanity before you leave this world? What will, what regards will you leave behind? I, I know many, many times are uh, the times that we think of the things of life, many other times that we think of ourselves, many other times that we think of how life is taking us, how we can achieve this how we can achieve that yes we, we it is good and it is necessary ne necessary necessarily or necessary for us to get those things for us to fight for whatever we think we we need to to have but let us not forget to fulfill our purpose let us not forget to serve our creator as long as we are alive because time is coming and time will come one day whenever you will say i had a chance but the chance is good and one of one of a thing that when it goes it goes forever it is a chance whenever you have a chance and it goes it goes forever yes god is god of another chance but the truth of the matter still remains if at all you lost the first chance that you had it was gone and the second chance it is not the same chance first chance that you had once the first chance you had gone goes it goes away yes god is god of another chance remember this and i'm not coming here to tell you that God is not a God of another chance. Our God is faithful and God is God of another chance. But remember, it is not assured that you will have the second chance. So right now you have the first chance. Right now you have the chance to do what it is supposed to do. Please use this first chance that you have to do what it's supposed to do, to do what to serve the humanity, to be kind, to be a good person, to be a generous person, person to touch souls and to serve your creator. Let me just read a Bible verse over here so that it, at least it can encourage it is in the book of ecclesiastes it is in the book of ecclesiastes 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 verse 12 ecclesiastes verse 12 ecclesiastes verse 12 verse from verse 1 and it says that remember now the creator in the days of thy youth remember now the creator in the days of your youth while the evil days come not while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pressure in them, I have no pressure in them. One thing that I, will, that I will let you know is that time is going and time is not our side and time does not wait for a king. Don't think because you, 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 you usually live to pro procrastinate things, that I will do this thing tomorrow, that I will change tomorrow, I will be a kind person tomorrow, I will change from being a drug addict tomorrow. Time does not wait for you, dear. Time does not wait for you. For those who shall say, I will serve God tomorrow, I will fulfill my purpose tomorrow, I will start to work for my purpose tomorrow. Time is not on your side. Time does not wait for a king. It's upon for you right, right now to make a decision, and a firm decision to say and a firm decision to say that from now henceforth, from now onward, I have made a decision. I will be a changed person. I will start working for my purpose. I will be a kind person. I will forgive this person. I will do this, whatever it all takes. Because even the Bible is telling us that remember God in the days of the year youth. Remember God in the days that you, are, you have the energy. Remember God the days that you are alive. Remember tomorrow is not given and tomorrow is not ours. Yes, we usually say that tomorrow I will do this, that tomorrow I will do, I will do that. 
But remember one thing, tomorrow is not given and tomorrow is not yours. Tomorrow is in the heart of God. Today is the day that is yours. Right now is the day that is yours. The day that you can see yourself, you are alive. The day that you can see yourself, you are breathing. So my dear brethren, the, 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 my main topic of my main reason to make this video is to tell you and to remember you that you are here on earth for a reason and your season. And my big question and my big concern is, have you understood your reason to why you are here on earth? Have you understood the reason to why God created you? Have you understood the reason? And remember, I know on this thing, that even if you haven't understood your reason, no matter the years that you are, the season is not stopping to continue counting itself. Whether you have understood your reason, whether you have not understood your reason, the season is not is not stopping to count itself. The season is still continuing to go. The clock is still clocking out. And you know what? One day we shall be accountable of the life that we live here on earth. It concerns me a lot and I usually ask myself, one day when you leave this world, one day when you meet with your creator, what will you give an account uh, an accountable of the life that you live on earth? God created you to be a kind person on earth, you decided not to be kind. God created you to touch souls, you decided to be mean person and not to be kind person. God created you to share information to other generations and to other people so that they can benefit, you decided to be otherwise. God created you to be a humble person, you decided to be a bright person. God created you to forgive people, live peace free, peace free with people, you decided to be otherwise. All of those things you will be accountable. God will need an answer to why you did all of those things. And you know the salary and the payment of the life that you live, you, you decided to live on your own, but not to live according to the way God needed you to be. The life and the salary will be, you will be taken to, to, to Jehanam or to wherever you will be taken. Whereas, whereas those people that lived according to the way God wanted them to live, they will be crowned, they will be crowned for fighting a good fight and living a good life here on earth. You yourself will be on another side. In, in, still in Ecclesiastes 12, still in Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13, it says that, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear. Let us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of a man. Fear God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of a man. For God shall bring every work into judgment. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil, whether good or whether evil. The thing that you should do by yourself thinking that there is nobody who knows. That secret thing that you did, that secret thing that you usually think that I'm doing I'm doing it while nobody knows, it will come to right, it will become to exposed to right. So it's a very high chance right now to ask for forgiveness, to ask for repentance, and to ask for a second chance from God. God is faithful, He's gonna forgive you. If at all you can decide today to change your life, if at all you can decide today to change the life that you have been living, it is a matter of decision making. It is a matter, and let me tell you, somehow people say it's hard, but myself I know it is not hard because I have tried those two lives. I have tried that life of being not unkind, I have tried that life of living the way I want, being a don't care, being a bo not a bother of anything, but still one day that I came and decided now I'm gonna concentrate with my life, I'm gonna concentrate with my purpose, I'm gonna pray God to help me to achieve the purpose that God created me for. I can attest that God had my prayer and God came and started a new journey and a new page of my life and God helped me. And right now I'm still working and progressing to work to the things that I'm that I was created for, even if I'm not yet there, but I can attest that I'm still trying and I'm still going according to the purpose that I was created for. So my concern and my request to you is that de desire today to know your purpose, desire today to serve your God, desire today as far as you are living to be a kind person, to touch humanity, to touch your generation, know that you are born to serve your generation. This is our generation, our 21st or our 20th. 21st, this is our generation. In our 22nd, we won't be here on this earth. In our 23rd generation, we won't be here on, the, on this earth. The 21st generation that you are seeing yourself in your life today. Many are the people that have gone before us. Some were younger than us, some were older than us, but the facts still remain. They are not with us. They, they lived to their purpose. They lived to their season. And right now, whether they lived according to their purpose or whether they didn't live according to their purpose, the thing that they are awaiting now, it is the case or the judgment day to give account us of the life they lived here on earth. So my dear brethren, let me complete with another verse over here. In the book of Ecclesiastes 10, in the book of Ecclesiastes 9, 10, Ecclesiastes 9, 10, it says that whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, 
do it with do it with might for there is no work nor device no knowledge nor wisdom in the grave here goes even the bible itself that where we are going it is the grave where we are going it is the grave one fact is still remain that all of us we are this is what you are okay the thing that i want to mean is that all of us will go to the grave all of us will leave this one all of us will leave this one but a great concern is what will you have achieved in this world? What legacy will you be leave behind? What an accountable account, an accountants will you give to your Creator when you go to heaven or wherever you meet your Creator? So, the Bible here tells us in Ecclesiastes 9:10 that whatever your hands, whatever your hand findeth to do, do it with the power, do it with the passion, do it with all, with all your might, because a day is coming that will give accountants of your life. It, it got a concern, concern to me that and to come to tell you and to make this video to tell you that serve your God in this generation serve humanity in this generation decide to be a good person pride does not pay being unkind does not pay being arrogant does not pay being abusive does not pay being a drug addict does, does not pay all those things that you usually think that they pay all those things that you usually think they give you a pressure of this world yes they are good they're gonna give you a pressure but it's for a time yes they are good they're gonna give you a pressure but it's for a while and then one day you will age up the age will catch up with you because time does not wait for a king you will not have pressure on those things now the thing and the fact and the the, 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 the fact will live, still remain, you will start regretting the life that you live you in your young age, you will start regretting the life that you live in your past, but it will be unchangeable because time will have gone. Right now you have a chance, even if you, we are told that God is God of another chance, yes, but don't misuse on all the first chance that you have waiting for a second chance, because it is not given, you're gonna get that chance. Use this chance that you have to serve your creator, Use, use this chance that you have to serve your God. Use this chance that you have to work for your purpose. And let me tell you, working for your purposes will help you, will help humanity, and will help you. And will praise God because God will be praised in heaven. And still you will help yourself because when you live to work for your purpose, you will help humanity, will touch humanity, and it pays a lot to work for your purpose. It pays a lot to work for, for your purpose. Just decide to be a good person, decide to be a humble person, decide to change. This life is upon the decision making. And one thing that makes me happy is that every consequences has choices has consequences. Or the, the choice of your the life that you're gonna choose to live here on earth has a consequences. Cho so choose to live peacefully. So choose to live humbly because there is a consequences. Let the consequences be positive and not negative. When you you, you decide to live a negative life, the consequences will be negative life. When you choose to live a positive life, the consequences will be positive. And when you pray God to change and the, the decision that the life that you are living, when you ask God to help you to change and to make a right decision, God will come unto you and God will help you to make the right decision. And from today henceforth, even if you don't have a, you won't have a brand new start, you can start now and have a new brand ending. That makes me happy that better is the end of a thing than the beginning. You might be having a, a poor beginning or your past or your past, your past might be not be pleasing. Your past might be that not the life that you live on your past. But a God, when you decide to change your life, when you decide to make a decision, you will have a new start, new brand start. And whatever better is the end of a thing than the beginning. So even if you would have a new brand start, you can start now and have a new brand ending because better is the end of a thing than the beginning. It doesn't matter how you started your life. It doesn't matter the decision that you made in your life, but you still have a chance right now to, re to turn away and to turn back and to turn around to, uh, to the other side and start living a new life. So that's all about it, guys. May God bless you. May God help you make the right decision in this life because this life that we are living, it's all about decision. The people that you are seeing living poor life and living a hell here on earth, somehow it, it, it is because of the decision that made, they made in, on, on, on their life. Some people living a happy life and something, it is the decision that they make of, on their life. Decision making is a, one of the very key and vital things in our life. Choose to make the right decision. Choose to make the right decision. Because when you make the right decision, your life will be a positive and will change from that message and all, whatever, 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 to a very peaceful, humble life. And you will enjoy your life here on earth. And when you will leave this world, you will leave a legacy behind. Desire to leave a positive legacy. So that's all about it, guys. 
please subscribe to this youtube channel if at all you haven't subscribed share this content or any of my content whenever it embraces you or informs you or teaches you or whatever or whatever of, of, of all of those things please subscribe share like and may god bless you abundantly bye